Welcome to another edition of Jeffco Prepped with Ploys. It's been a busy fall sports season in Jeffco, so let's get to the highlights. We start at Aurora Sports Park, where Columbine grabbed its first softball state championship. Senior Ali Disler was the offensive star for the Rebels in the Class 5A title game against Fossil Ridge. Ali drove in four runs, including this home run. Junior Corby Otis rips a double down the line here to help out offensively. Corby was brilliant in the circle. The pitching ace gave up just one run in the semifinal and championship game. Corby finished the Rebel season out in style with her 13th strikeout of the game to wrap up a 7-1 victory against Fossil Ridge. Columbine held an all-school assembly to honor the softball team. It's just the third girls team state title in Columbine history. The last came with the Rebels winning the 5A girls soccer championship in 2014. Jeffco nearly came away with a 4A softball state title. Golden advanced to its first softball championship game since 1995. The Demons got off to a great start against Erie in the title game. Senior Mackenzie Middleston crushes this solo home run well over the fence, giving Golden an early 1-0 lead. Mackenzie's identical twin sister, Michaela would also rip a home run and drove in four runs in the title game. Mackenzie and Michaela ended the season combining for 36 home runs and 116 RBIs in 30 games. Erie scored four runs in the top of the eighth inning to take a 13-9 lead. Golden wasn't able to rally, and this final strikeout ended the dream season for the Demons. It was an emotional ending for Golden after winning a second straight conference title while having an incredible 27-3 record. Next, we head over to Thornton High School, where for another season, Jeffco Gymnastics teams were stellar at the state meet. On the 4A side, Green Mountain was a team state runner-up, with Ram gymnast Sarah Hitchcock claiming the vault and Lucy Minert taking home the beam title in the individual event final. Jeffco gymnasts swept the bars individual finals, with Stanley Lake's Maya Wynn winning the 4A and Stanley Lake freshman Isabella Gee, shown here, claimed the 5A bars. However, Pomona stole the headlines once again. The Panthers vaulted into history, winning its fifth straight 5A team title. It's the first time a program has won five in a row in the largest classification. Wheat Ridge senior Kaylee Burns, who competes for Pomona, became a two-time all-around individual state champ. Kaylee won in 2017 as a sophomore, but an injury prevented her from competing last year. Kaylee shined during the team and individual all-around competition. She had the top scores on the vault and beam, took second on the bars, and third on floor. Floor. Teammate Mia Timms, a junior at Wheat Ridge, was the runner-up in the individual all-around behind Kaylee. The third prong that spearheaded Pomona to history was Kalise Newsom. She finished fifth in the all-around. We head over to the North Area Athletic Complex, where Golden advanced to its first 4A boys soccer semifinal since 2006. Golden defeated Centaurus 2-1 in the state quarterfinal game at NAC. The game-winning goal was all about teamwork. This free kick by Jesse Dank was flipped forward by a couple of demons before senior Sam Markovich fired home the shot to advance Golden to the state semifinals. Golden had a number of scoring chances in the final minutes at Legacy Stadium against eventual state champion Skyview. However, the Demons couldn't find the back of the net and suffered a 1-0 loss. Golden finished the season with a 16-2-1 record. over to the Denver Coliseum for state volleyball action. Ralston Valley worked its way into the 12-team Class 5A double elimination state tournament. The Mustangs lost both matches against Grandview and Cherokee Trail. Ralston Valley finished the season with a 20-7 record. On the 4A side, Devlin made its second ever trip to the state tournament. The Jaguars lost their opening match to Coronado, but then went on a tear. Devlin won a pair of elimination matches in five-set fashion. The Jaguars defeated Pueblo 
West and Discovery Canyon on day two of the tournament to advance to the final six. Coronado needed five sets to end Devlin's impressive postseason run. The 4A Jeffco League champions finished the season with a 19 and 10 record. We finish this month with a quick whip around look at some state football playoff action. Columbine cruised to a 43 to 14 victory over Smoky Hill in the second round at Jeffco Stadium. Columbine senior Adam Harrington scores here on a four yard touchdown run early in the second quarter. Fellow senior Tanner Hollins runs in a two point conversion to put the Rebels up 15 to zero. Columbine senior quarterback Jaden Holiday threw a trio of touchdown passes. We bounce over to the NAC for a 5A second round doubleheader featuring Pomona and Ralston Valley. Pomona senior Chase Lopez goes airborne here for a first half touchdown. Junior Jake Pospisil had a 38 yard touchdown catch and run while the Panthers defense was impressive as usual in a 36 to seven victory over legend. Ralston Valley went to the ground game to take its 42 to 21 victory over Arapaho. Senior quarterback Walker Brickle pulls off a bit of a Houdini act, disappearing into his offensive line before emerging and breaking free into the end zone. Finally, we head back to Jeffco Stadium for a Class 3A first round matchup between Green Mountain and Erie. Senior Quentin Minert gives the Rams the lead here on a three yard touchdown run. Green Mountain senior Trey Tandro had a monster game. He had a key interception in the fourth quarter and ran in for this one yard touchdown run in the final minutes to clinch a 27 to seven victory for the Rams. For more Jeffco coverage, go to chassanow.com forward slash Jeffco. Also follow us on Twitter at Jeffco Athletics and like Jeffco Athletics on Facebook. Don't forget to check out JPS TV Sports Channel on YouTube.